Priority mission highlighted. Proceed to the marker. Over here! Agent! Meet me at the gate. Barricades and have someone radio the patrol to be on the lookout for stragglers. Some of those bastards got away. I didn't expect another attack so soon. You okay? If this keeps up, we're gonna have to relocate. Come on, help me with this. We're stretched too thin to protect everyone here. Not again. Get to the waterfront! That can't be right. for Washington, D.C. How is this possible? Get down! Everybody get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened, it needs to be fixed or it's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go! We took things for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived.
established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing, create nothing. Hyenas, Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out... Who can save us then? It's been seven months since the outbreak. We still live in fear of the virus, the green poison. The real danger is out there, waiting. Incoming alert on the SHD emergency channel. Flash priority. The base of operations is under attack. Hostile forces have breached our southern perimeter. We are in need of immediate assistance. Repeat, need immediate assistance from any nearby agents. Division 
agents heading north toward the White House. Looks like they've cut down a group of hyenas and are headed this way. Agent, if you can hear us on this frequency, keep pushing forward and blindside these bastards. This is you. Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comms. I'm guessing the division alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in DC. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town.
portable electronic device detected. Optics are going to be terrible. With all due respect, Mr. Mendez, screw the optics. Manhattan's in a crisis state, and this is the one club I've got left in my bag. Hell if I'm not going to take a swing. Agreed. Hopefully, this will only be needed for a short time, and we can deal with the fallout once the crisis is passed. And if it's not over quickly, what do we do then? Then you better learn some useful skills, because if this thing drags on, the damn optics will be the least of our worries. I swear, Ellis, you ever get the feeling that there's something funny going on? There's nothing funny about this situation, Mr. President. Knock it off. I'm not you know sure what I, what I mean. do. It's just all of this feels harder than it should. Like there's something pushing back against everything people pushing back reflexively on anything you do. You know I've got your back. And so does the country. So, worry less about the hypothetical crises. And let's deal with the real one we've got facing us right now. The neighborhoods you'll be moving through are hyena territory. They're a bunch of vicious assholes who prey on the weak and vulnerable and kill for kicks. And they destroy whatever they can't steal for themselves. And they've been an especially serious problem for the theater settlement. Given our situation, we need the help of the settlements. But they can't do much if they're struggling to survive. So see what you can do to take some pressure off them. But don't forget that we have to get the Shade Network back to full strength. In a lot of places, the Division has been the only thing holding people together. But with DC as the priority, most agents are completely cut off. They're not gonna last long without support. Submitting backup request.
Unavailable device detected. Gotta get back to time, you. Coming over for dinner? Not tonight. Gotta meet with some National Guard buddies. They're worried they'll get called out of quarantine in New York. Okay. <laughs> this is serious. It's the flu. You remember swine flu? Everyone freaked out for nothing. You'll see. In a couple of months, no one will even remember what the dollar flu was. Like Y2K. Y2K. You really know how to make a guy feel old. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I don't know. This doesn't feel like it's just gonna blow over. People are scared. And you know what happens when people are scared? Hey, you worry too much, Mio. Give me your wallet. Yeah. Don't make us hurt you. Well, hell no. You're coming up in the theater settlement. The woman who runs it is named Odessa Sawyer. Try to stay on her good side.
leave a message at the entrance and we'll make sure it gets into the right hand. Oh, God. 